Hello everybody, and welcome to Game Source. So today I'm going to be playing Sherlock Holmes, the tea the tea shop murder mystery. Um so sorry if my throat's a bit weird, I do I do have a sore throat at the moment. Um yes, yeah, so, uh let's begin. Let's play. Police Inspector Jason Bartholomew Jones was here. He told me someone has murdered Mr. T. Mr. T was the owner of the local tea shop. I'd better get over there and look for clues. Um, okay. So, Mr. T has, uh, has quit the A-Team and has, um, I guess started to run a tea shop now. Because, uh, yeah, tea shop. So we need to see... <laughs> what happened here? So we have to go through here, apparently. Take the key. Ooh, we have a clue. Is there anything? Oh, it's, so this is a point and click. Ooh, sugar cubes. I'll have some if the shopkeeper doesn't mind. I guess he doesn't because he was murdered. Oh my God. Okay. Just gonna open all of these. Oh. This duster might be useful. I'll take it with me. Okay. Well, I think we'll go back in here and look. This is the crime scene. We have a big cup of tea in which the victim was drowned to death. We have one white glove on the floor, a can of kerosene which spilled on the floor, and a ladder that's turned over. Oh yes, I also spot matches. Looks as though someone was planning a barbecue. Or a murder. <laughs> That music. This is the crime scene. We have a. All right, I know. I know about that. I know. That's a gramophone. <laughs> is it really? Because I definitely. There's nothing didn't in here. <laughs> Shut up. It's an insurance policy for the tea shop. If the place gets struck by lightning and or hurricane and or flood and or fire and or aliens, then the insurance company will pay one million pounds. That's. Oh, McTavish Insur Insurance Agency. Okay. Those boxes contain all sorts. I don't care. Um. So let's go to the in insurance place and see what they they want to say. Hello. Hello. I am here to investigate Mr. T's murder. Oh dear Lord! Mr. T was murdered. Yes, Mr. T was. MURDERED! That is so horrible that I hardly think I can help. All I know is that Mr. T and my secretary, Mrs. Cena Corkale, had an affair. But at the end of it, he dumped her and left her broken-hearted and filled with anger and a will for revenge. Ooh, she's a suspect now. Thank you, sir. That's all I needed to hear. Yeah. New suspect. There we go. Hello. Oh, it's the famous detective Sherlock Holmes. Welcome to our humble office. I am Mrs. Sina Korkaya. <laughs> a voice, Jesus. Hello, Mrs. Sina. I'm here to ask you a few questions regarding a crime that was committed last night. Oh, dear Lord. I'm too nervous to answer any questions right now. Especially because my wig looks terrible today. I'll be more relaxed once I sort out the wig problem. Wig. Uh... I don't know. I could hit her with a key. This doesn't work. I could tickle her nose. Oh, I could use the hairs from the stuffer to make a new wig. Thank you. Does that mean you are able to answer a few questions regarding Mr. T's murder, which took place last night? I, d I don't think tickling her would work, but it, it did, apparently, which is good. Oh, my lord. Mr. T was murdered? Yes, Mr. T was murdered! <laughs> is that going to happen every time? That's so terrible. I hardly think I can help. Oh, I know is that Mr. T insured his tea shop yard. My boss, Mr. Stuart McTavish, once said 
the Department of Education hit with the key key shop, our insurance agency will go bankrupt. She went very quiet then. I don't know if that'll pick up in the video. But, uh, you know, you can read Thank it you, right. Miss. That's all I needed to hear. Wait, okay. <laughs> I'm too weak emotionally to get upset of it today. Yeah, it's me, Miss Crabby the Crab. <laughs> we've got a crab now. It's great, it's a bird. I think we've got everything now. I think we should go, no, not the walkthrough, Main Street. Say hello to this extra, person. Extra, extra, Mr. T from Mr. T's Tea Shop found dead. So, you know that Mr. T is dead? Maybe because you murdered him? What? No. It's all over the papers. I've been selling more papers than ever. Everybody wants to read about Mr. T's murder. So Mr. T's murder increased the amount of newspapers you are selling, thus making you earn more money. Sounds like a motive to me. Motive for murder! Uh, Are you buying a paper or not? Um, yes. Thanks. Open up. Nobody's here! <laughs> I didn't know Pee Wee lived there. Alright. Okay, so... Should we go to meet this place? Insurance policy. This doesn't work. Give a newspaper to him. Maybe like. I have it. nothing to say to him. Wait, that's a newspaper in there. Maybe put. Refill the newspaper. You might want to use this newspaper to replace the old newspaper inside the bird's cage. It would help reduce the stench of this room. Thank you. I'd appreciate it. Please take this voucher for half price overnight stay at the Wellington Inn. Thank you. So we've got a new place, which is good. Let's go here then. <laughs> what are they doing? Hello, I am here to investigate Mr. T's murder. Adios mios. Mr. T was murdered? Yes, Mr. T was murdered! I am shocked. I used to work at his tea shop. I know my boss, Mr. Cheng Jun Wei, knows to buy tea for our guests from Mr. T's shop. But he stopped after the last time he bought there. We had a cockroach inside the tea box. And that cockroach scared our guests. Mr. Cheng hated Mr. T ever since. Thank you, miss. That's all I needed to hear. Okay, we got a new suspect. Hello, this guy. I am here to investigate Mr. T's murder. So what do I have to do with this? I can't answer any of your questions until I kill the giant cockroach that's hiding inside. That cockroach is hurting my business. All right, I have all day to wait. Uh, sugar cube. We could. Because they're, like, attracted to that, aren't they? This doesn't work. In the hole? There must Allow me, please. Yeah, there we go. It's a well-known fact that cockroaches are attracted to sweets. Yeah, there you go. Stay, cockroach, stay! If it were up to me, I would have killed all of you! It worked! That cockroach will soon be dead! <laughs> that laugh. Okay, that's a giant cockroach. Massive, All right? So... No, the, the key, we could open this door. This doesn't work. Or maybe not. Uh, let's let's go back to the tea shop and see if we can do anything there. Um, I this? can't see anything outside this window. Something smells fishy. And I'm not talking about the fish-flavored tea bags. Right. Uh, that's a gramophone. We could try and find the disc for that. I don't know where it would be though. Uh, 
Maybe go back to the Wellington Inn. And then I give this to you. I would like to keep the smelter with me. I shall use it after I solve the murder mystery. Key. This doesn't work. This doesn't work. This doesn't work. Right. <laughs> okay. Where should we go? To the insurance place? Give it to them. This doesn't work. Oh, give it to her. This doesn't work. Give this to him. This doesn't work. Give this to her. This doesn't work. Give this to him. This doesn't work. <laughs> what will work then? Um. Oh, right, what we got? So, uh, Mr. Chang. So, is there a place we can? Let's go to Baker Street. This is my humble office. My famous bookcase. Oh, uh, I don't know. Well, we could, uh, did we actually talk to him? Alright, I guess now you have the time to answer a few questions regarding Mr. T's murder. We didn't, we didn't actually talk to him, that's great, okay. Did you say murder? Wow, he needs his ears washed out, Jesus Christ. No, I said murder! <laughs> I think it was just, just an excuse to do that. Well, I don't think I can help you much. I hardly knew him. I can tell you that Miss Isela Laura Espinosa, my housekeeper, used to work at Mr. T's tea shop. She even put out three fires in the shop. But for some reason, he decided to fire her. That is when I hired her to work in housekeeping. She hated Mr. T ever since and swore to get revenge. Ooh. Okay, she's a suspect now. Wait! I forgot to thank you for your help with the cockroach. Please take this record. And that's that's how we get the record, okay. So let's go back to the tea shop and put it That's a gramophone. Yeah no. Put it on the <laughs> There's a secret room behind this broken window! God, that was loud. Okay. I need to find a way to cut off these chains, so I can get through. Alright, um... Well, okay, well, what... Voucher, crab, policy, and key, and then the notebook. Uh... Well, <laughs> there's a giant pot of tea, so, you know, this game is pretty stupid. So I'm thinking, maybe... Can use the crab, the pincers to smash the chains. Maybe. Yeah, and then the key we can. There we go. Then go through here. Oh, there's the the kerosene thing. So that's that's actually in the shop. Someone didn't like put it in there. Like I know they bashed him off the ladder and set fire to him. That didn't happen. I'm thinking maybe he was climbing up the ladder to get something grabbed the kerosene bottle, sort of slipped, the ladder fell down, he fell into the tea, and yeah, it was just an accident, that's, that's what I think it is. So the money's gone down and the tea, I don't know. Um, this is it, I have all the information I need, I am pretty sure I know who the murderer is. Okay, yeah, I think I think I know who it is too. So let's let's do this. I solved the mystery. Mr. T's murderer is. Yep, the owner of the tea shop. The owner of the tea shop, Mr. T. Heavens to Betsy! She is no How did you solve the case, Mr. Holmes? Well, that was easy for a smart and experienced detective such as myself. I started to suspect when I learned that Mr. T insured his tea shop for one million pound. During my investigation, I understood that there were three fires at Mr. T's tea shop. 
But Mrs. Isella, Laura Espinosa, put them all out. That is what led me to think that she was fired because she interfered with Mr. T's intentions to burn the place down and collect the insurance money. Ah, so he was getting the kerosene to burn it down himself. And then fell into the pot. That's, that's probably what happened. Later on I discovered a secret room inside Mr. T's tea shop. Inside I saw a book showing that the sales went downhill at the tea shop. No customers means no money. Then I saw a picture on the wall and it all became clear to me. I saw a can of kerosene on the top shelf. Last night, Mr. T decided to carry out the plan. Now that he got Mrs. Estella, Lara, Espinosa out of the way, he was sure he would succeed. He went up on the ladder and brought down the can of kerosene. Somehow the ladder fell, sending Mr. T inside the big cup of tea in which he drowned. Yeah, there we go. That's, that's what I said. And now that I've solved the case, I'll go back to my office and tell my story to my dear friend, Dr. Watson. Oh, wait! I'm in my office! That means you all need to get out! Come on, get out! Out! <laughs> My time, 19 minutes and 24. Voice over James Kaler, Sarah Kaler. So it's, so it's the same people. Who, like, there's no more than... Well, there's not a different voice actor for each character. Yeah, okay, that was that was a good game. I like that. Um, you can play it on GameShed or GameSnappy.com. And... Yeah, so that's the end of the video. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe to Comment Saucer. And I'll see you next time, everybody. Goodbye.